Hey friends, it's Anjali here. It's Tuesday, September 7th. Welcome to the Mission's Changed My Life show by Global Hope India with your host Kevin White. This is the podcast where we say yes to God's call to go make Christ known in India and around the world. Thank you for subscribing, reviewing and sharing the show. On Friday, October 1st, Kevin will be sharing a powerful message from God's word entitled What's your word? What's your word? I hope you'll join us for this international live broadcast from the USA via Zoom. LinkedIn, YouTube or Facebook at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, October 1st. Details at kevinwhite.us. We'll see you there. Okay, now here's your host, Kevin White. Good morning, everyone. I'm Pastor Kevin. You're listening to Missions Change My Life. And as you can see, if you're watching on YouTube, we have our friends, Pastor Shaker and Sharon, Sharon with us. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Yeah, fine, thank you, brother. Yeah, what a joy it is to see you. Uh, we love you. We praise God for you. And we are excited to hear an update today. Unfortunately, we can't travel to be with you, um, but we are engaged through our prayers for the ministry that God has given to you, as well as through our support. And we just want to take time to say thank you to everyone who is faithfully supporting Pastor Shaker and Sharon and their ministry there in Vishakna Putnam in India. And uh, we're going to get an update today. And so, uh, first of all, we are recording this in the summer of 2021. We still are under a unfortunate global pandemic Everyone's going to be curious to know how you are. And by the grace of God, neither of you have been in the hospital as a result of COVID. God has protected you. Tell us, tell us how, how you have been during this time. Yeah, we, we are very much happy, brother. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, we are being protected by the God. And uh, we should be able to talk to you. My name is Shaker. Mm -hmm. I'm from uh, Vishakapatnam, India. And uh, we are uh, working here for the glory of the God. And we are working among the uh, many people in the rural uh, area of uh, India mm -hmm. and other parts of the India also. We are advancing the gospel to read the gospel to the ungreated places. Neither of you have been positive with COVID, right? You've not had any, any uh, issues with COVID Correct. No. Have you been able to take the vaccines? Yes. yes. Ah, praise the Lord. Yes. Good. Good. That is very important. Here in the USA, majority, 98% of the people testing positive have not had vaccines. 99% of people in the hospitals have not had vaccines. And so yes. it it has been proven that vaccines save lives, and we have tried to make that a high value of all of our partners across India. So we're excited that you have had uh, the vaccine. Praise God for yes. that. And are, yes. have, you, have you been able, I know that we've talked many times about helping people get vaccines. Have you been able to help others receive the vaccine now? Yes, brother. I have helped some, some of our church members to take vaccine. Uh, in the private hospital. Yeah, yeah. So several months ago, it was a living hell in India. All the crematoriums were full. There were uh, funeral prairies everywhere, all across India. Uh, do you know pastors that have passed and people, brothers and sisters in Christ, and people that have passed as a result of COVID? Yes, yes brother, yes. Mm. We are closely associated with some of the pastors. They passed away due to Corona. Yeah. So you have a, you're very faithful in a widow's ministry. Uh, have any, yes. anyone under your ministry passed as a result of COVID? Yeah, they, are, they were affected with Corona, COVID-19, but uh, their lives are, by the grace of the God, they saved. Ah, praise but God. Uh, because we know that the widows are up in their age and they're very vulnerable uh, to the virus. So yes. we're glad that, that they have been spared. Uh, by the grace of God. Yeah. We, we got them vaccinated, brother. Yeah. Good. Hallelujah. Good. 
Good. Well, I know that also many people have lost their jobs. They are they are without income. Uh, starvation is widespread throughout India. People are not knowing where their meals are going to come from. And God is sustaining, but it's not easy. Are you aware of many families that are struggling right now as a result of COVID-19? Yes, brother. There are many families. One of our church members, they lost their uh, father and the two children were left alone. Mm. Uh, they, they become a, a single family, single mother family. Mm -hmm. And two children, were, uh, or, they become orphans. And uh, uh, in, church, in church also, there is another family also. They lost their parents. Mm. Uh, two families are there without their parents. Wow. Because of, uh, because of COVID-19. Yeah, that's a sad point, but that's happening across India where there are now hundreds and even thousands of children yes. without their parents who have perished as a result of COVID-19. So who is taking care of these children under your ministry? Yeah, actually, uh, we are, at present, we are taking care of them. The mother will be taking care of them. Okay. And uh, another family, we are taking care of them. Mm -hmm. And but they are staying with uh, their uh, uh, elderly people so mm -hmm. that we are feeding them whenever there is need. We are going there and we are looking after them. Okay, great, great. Well, as you can already hear, if you're listening wherever podcasts can be heard uh, to the show, you're already hearing ways in which you can engage in prayer. Uh, Global Hope India has three pillars we pray, we give, we go. And we may not be able to take a flight over to Vashatna Putnam today. We will sometime in the future, but we can certainly pray. And we want to be faithful in our prayers. And I want to ask everyone in the audience, as you're listening to Pastor Shaker and Sharon, uh, don't just be an observer, but be a prayer warrior with them. He is like a modern day Moses. She's like a modern day Moses. And you can be an Aaron and a her to lift their hands spiritually for victory right now. And Pastor Shaker and Sharon would both testify to the Lord that it's by your prayers that they are receiving the grace of God. And so pray for them. As you hear these sad stories, um, pray, pray for them, pray for these widows, pray for the orphans, pray for the church members that have lost loved ones. Um, and we're also going to give you an opportunity to give. And so, Pastor Shaker, over this time, 18 months now, we've not been able to travel over to India, but we've been able to lift you up in prayer and to support uh, somewhat, even in small ways financially. Uh, what difference has that made for your friends here in the U.S. to support you and Sharon? Uh, how has it been used of God? Yeah, it makes a lot of difference, brother, because the right time, the right help is always uh, a great help for the ministry mm -hmm. and uh, we could able to uh, give essential needs to the, the to the needy people who are in the who are jobless and the poor because mm -hmm. of the covid 19 they could not able to get their uh, daily wages such people we have helped them mm -hmm. and also we have extended the medical assistance and uh, at the same time we uh, we also helped the widows uh, and uh, also we helped the distributed uh, uh, the uh, essential needs to the pastors also they are in need yeah uh, we uh, through, through the uh, the help of the blah blah of india yeah pastor i want you to take time just to talk about the essential needs for the pastors uh, many people may not understand this, being in the U.S. far away from it, but when a shutdown happens in India and a church cannot meet, most churches are not able to go online like churches in the U.S., and their giving is not occurring online. So when a church can't meet, a pastor does not receive offerings, and most of the time the pastors in India depend upon that to feed their families. And so when the offerings are not collected, the, fam the, the pastor goes without income, not just for a week, sometimes months. And then you have three, yes. three children, for let's say. Um, that's a family of five uh, that has yes. no means to feed itself. And so Pastor Shaker is not only taking the gifts given through Global Hope India to sustain he and Sharon, but are also uh, dividing that out to pastors all across the area to help them to feed their families. 
Pastor, give us some insight to that. How is God using you? Well, last time when the COVID was there, and the, our church was closed for more, uh, more than four months because the government has not permitted us to open the churches. Mm. Continuously, it is closed up to from March to July, uh, July 17th. Mm. Again, we have opened in the July 17th of 2020. And afterwards, again, this, this year, uh, in the month of March, again, they closed it. We, we have opened in the, only in the month of July only. Mm. So during that time, we don't have any offerings and all. Uh, so that uh, with the help of the Global Hope of India, uh, we have distributed the uh, essential needs to the pastors and to the needy people. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, we have helped the widows and also we have helped the, the people who lost their family, I mean, lost their parents. Also, we have helped, the, helped them at the time of Christmas. Uh, we have purchased the clothes and all. Uh, we have we used we are feeding the people whenever we could able to open the church. We are feeding the poor people also in the church after the service. And uh, not only that, uh, we could able to uh, visit their houses. Uh, we are to encourage them and strengthen them with the word of God and with the prayer, prayer also. Mm. Uh, this is the way we do it. Uh, generally, we do because we cannot uh, conduct the prayers. Uh, Mm -hmm. We can visit the houses and we pray to them and we strengthen them and uh, a small word of God uh, will be given to them and uh, will be taught to them so that uh, with the word of God, we, will, we are strengthening them. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Um, I wish more of that could happen in the USA, but I am so grateful for your faithfulness and uh, your persistence to shepherd people, to be a messenger of the gospel. Uh, even when church assembly is uh, restricted there, you are leaving the walls of the church and going out with the word and with the prayers and with the financial support. Hey, it's Anjali. We will be right back. Kevin White is an international speaker and best-selling author who loves helping people everywhere to prosper in God's presence. Kevin's book, Audacious Generosity, is available in paperback for only $10 right now at kevinwhite.us and that includes free shipping anywhere in the USA. That's cheaper than you can buy it on Amazon. Go to kevinwhite.us and order some copies today for you and your friends. Kevin's newest book, Get to the Point, releases everywhere on November 9, 2021. It offers a practical guide for pursuing the presence of God and shows you how every guidance and provision you will ever need can be found today in the presence of God. Get ready for Get to the Point, releasing November 9, 2021. A serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of businesses, non-profits and churches. As founder and executive director of Global Hope India, Kevin has traveled over 1 million miles to 27 different countries, speaking to thousands of audiences throughout India and the world. Visit KevinWhite.us for Kevin's books, one-minute motivation series and podcasts. Visit KevinWhite.us today. There are 3 billion people alive today who still have limited to no access to know about Jesus. Most live in the 1040 window. This is the rectangular area 10 degrees north and 40 degrees north latitude, extending from North Africa through India, the Middle East, and Asia. For over 20 years, Global Hope India has been empowering local churches throughout India to provide access to Jesus. You can make a difference now at globalhopeindia.org. Okay, now back to the show. Uh, so we didn't just meet Pastor Shaker and Sharon yesterday. We've known them well over 10 years. They've been a great friend and partner in the ministry. And uh, we can say with absolute confidence that when funds go over from the U.S. to Pastor Shaker, we are actually in disbelief with what he's able to do with so little. Uh, God really strengthens his hands and multiplies it uh, because it seems like it's just a small gift from, from us, but then it impacts so many people. And I'm just encouraged as I've watched three predominant families here in North Carolina faithfully give to Pastor Shaker and Sharon. And time and time again, they are given a witness that God is prompting them to increase their giving. 
uh, to try to give more, uh, that they want to do more. I'm just so encouraged by that because there is Pastor Shaker and Sharon uh, there in a remote area without a large audience, if you will, globally, but yet God knows them loves them, has promised to meet every need, and he's prompting a man in North Carolina to increase their giving. And that's just to the faithfulness of God. Uh, Pastor, I just want to commend you as a brother in Christ, you and Sharon, for your faithfulness to the Lord and for what you do. I hope everyone in the audience will uh, follow Global Hope India's social media because often you will see some of the feeding programs that Pastor Shaker and Sharon have done. You see distribution to the widows. You see him out visiting people and praying for them. And uh, what he is saying is backed up uh, by receipts. It's backed up by photographs. We have no doubts whatsoever. And so I just encourage everyone listening, there's a reason that you've tuned in. And so as you are willing to pray, uh, will you just open up your hands to the Lord and say, Father, would you put something in my hands that I could share with Pastor Shaker and Sharon? So you can go to globalhopeindia.org forward slash give, and you will see GHI Partners tab. Click on that tab and you will see Pastor S in Vizag. And so that that is his fund and everything given to that fund goes to Pastor Shaker and Sharon. And it is it, every single penny here turns into rupees there and it is used to advance the gospel. And I cannot encourage you enough, recommend Pastor Shaker and Sharon highly enough to you that you would support them with your prayers and with your gifts. So pastor, if uh, we were able to fly in a plane and come over and land and at the airport and you picked us up and you took us out to your ministry. What would we see today? You can see my church. Yes. And you can see my congregation mm -hmm. and also my ministry in the rural areas. Mm. And also I will take you, you can see my widow's support mm. and the widows which I'm helping them. Mm -hmm. And also the pastors who are working with me and uh, to whom I am helping them, and also the recent uh, orphans mm. because of the COVID-19. Those families, the two families are here. And uh, another thing, you can see the medical assistance we are extending to the people. Mm -hmm. uh, we have conducted the medical camp also last year, before last year. Uh, you can see the medical camp. Uh, we can conduct the medical camp also. Uh, we have distributed the medicines at free of cost to the people. Almost uh, there are about three to four hundred people attended the attended the medical camp. We brought uh, some doctors and also we examined. We have seen the BP. We have seen the ECG. We have seen the uh, ear and the dentist. We brought them mm. and uh, they have given the very good medicines at the free of cost. Uh, you can see the rural area, the people are very much interested to listen to the word of God. And they want to know about Jesus Christ, especially in some places, mm -hmm. in the rural places. So that uh, if you come, it is a great welcome. Uh, we welcome you, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I take this opportunity to welcome you mm -hmm. to visit our place. Well, we definitely want to visit as soon as we can. Uh, we want to be back over on the soil of India. Uh, but we're going to continue to pray and support you every way we can until that day happens. Uh, Pastor, you just said something that makes me curious. You said people are requesting prayers. What have you seen as far as a spiritual climate as a result of COVID-19? We know that God reveals himself in the midst of human needs. Sometimes we have to wait because people are antagonistic toward Jesus. Other times we see that they become very softened toward Jesus. What are you seeing today? as a result of this hardship? Because of this hardship, the people who are disturbed, brother. Mm. They are very much disturbed. One thing, they lost the jobs. They lost the jobs. Yeah. The second thing, the daily labor, they are not getting the jobs. Mm -hmm. Daily labor, they are affected. And at the same time, there are migrated laborers there. The people who went for a migration, for work in, work in the cities, 
they did not get the job they mm-hmm. could not able to come back mm-hmm. and also they could not able to feel their families who are in the uh, villages so uh, i have seen uh, people they are suffering a lot because of this uh, covid 19 i i don't know whether how the most of them they become very sick i i, I have no idea the reasons i have, i cannot see uh, i have seen people they lost their health uh, mm-hmm. because of the uh, the people who are sitting there because of the financial problems uh, the mental conditions are coming down because of this uh, covid 19 uh, days uh, i do not know the reasons for that uh, but still another thing is uh, the spiritual uh, uh, the spirituality is also coming down day by day in the even in the believers also at the time at this time uh, I, we need some revival and uh, we at any time uh, we have to encourage them strengthen them uh, by conducting uh, ecotis prayers and uh, other other revival meetings uh, because you now at present we cannot conduct any meetings mm-hmm. but uh, we can uh, talk to them and strengthen them by visiting their houses brother mm-hmm. yeah Yeah, this morning I was reading in Proverbs 22, verse 4, it says, True humility and fear of the Lord lead to riches, honor, and long life. And uh, we know that uh, often we're given the choice to humble ourselves before the Lord, and then sometimes God positions us in places of humility. And one of the outcomes of COVID-19 worldwide is humility. And I hope that everyone listening to, has uh, received that and has aligned them themselves to that. Uh, humility is a gift from God. It's not a curse, but it is his process uh, to actually take us to a place of looking to him. That's what fear in the Lord is, is looking to him now. Now we're broken. Who's going to fix us? So we look to him to fix us, and that leads, it promises, to riches, honor, and long life. And so if someone were to be listening today to this episode and you have not trusted Jesus as Lord and Savior, please understand it is God's will for you and I to be humble before him and to cry out to him. The word promises everyone who cries out to Jesus will be saved. And Pastor Sharon and Shaker are have given their lives to that promise, their lives to that calling. their work leads to riches, honor and long life uh for everyone who submits to the Lord, who humbles themselves and who fears the Lord. And so uh we're praying that as you pray, don't just pray over the things that money can buy like Bibles and medicine and widow support, but pray for those things that only God can provide as well like salvation like the fear of the Lord uh like the righteousness that comes only through Jesus Christ and we want that for the precious souls all across India and so pastor Shaker and Sharon just know that we are praying for revival and we want to call everyone to pray for revival that the outcome of covid-19 will be global revival global people as a result of being humbled through this virus we will come to a place of brokenness to the end of ourselves that we will ask who's going to fix us and we will look to Jesus and Jesus alone for that salvation pastor before we conclude the show how can we pray you have any specific prayer requests you would ask us to remember right now yeah please uh... pray for the the medical assistance brother mm-hmm. and also pray for the supply of essential needs to the people okay and uh, and pray for the the covid-19 orphan family mm okay the pray, yeah. pray for health because uh, we are moving outside Mm-hmm. Uh, myself and the, my wife Sara and when we we are going to the village to the village and mm-hmm. pray for our protection yes. please amen amen so pastor um i i want to just ask you and I, i know you're humble and you're never going to ask for money but um if if god provided you 
in U.S. dollars, five hundred dollars would be approximately uh, thirty-five thousand rupees. If he gave you thirty-five thousand rupees, how would you use it right now? Yeah, we will. Uh, we will provide the essential needs uh, to the people who are in needy, mm -hmm. uh, those who are not getting the employment, mm -hmm. and uh, for the downtrodden people, mm. the downtrodden people below the poverty line. Mm -hmm. And also, another thing is. Uh, we help uh, giving the medical assistance to the people mm -hmm. to buy some medicines. We will distribute to them because uh, they need some medicines nowadays. Mm -hmm. And also, if necessary, we can take them to the hospital also. Mm -hmm. There are one cancer patient also there here and uh, leprosy people also there. Mm -hmm. We can help them. Medical assistance also we can extend. And another thing we can support, uh, we can, I say, we can we support the widows, uh, those who are not the widows support also we can give. And also uh, we want to help the corona orphans. Mm -hmm. They lost their parents. Uh, yeah. we, want, we want to give them something uh, for the rice, uh, the essential needs, oil like that. Mm. Well, as you can hear, there's no shortage of what, how the, the support to the ministry can be impactful there. And so I just encourage everyone again, hold out your hands to the Lord and ask, Father, would you put something in my hands that I could share with Pastor Shaker and Sharon and go to globalhopeindia.org forward slash give and look for GHI partners and choose Pastor S in, in Vizag and, and give and 100 percent will be sent over and used by Pastor Shaker. Uh, for the advancement of the gospel. Pastor, are there other things that you're crying out to God for financially that we can remember in prayer? Anything else that your church needs or that you and Sharon need? For the church and the ministry. Okay. All right. Anything else you wanted to share before we close out in prayer? I want to pray for you and Sharon. Uh, I I want to pray for the children, brother. Yeah. Because the... Uh, most of the children, they they are not going to the schools are closed. Yeah, uh, they are suffering a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so please pray for the children mm -hmm. uh, because uh, when, when the schools uh, pray for the schools, if the schools are open, uh, they can they the, they can continue their education yeah. because for the past year there is no proper education for the children. Mm -hmm. And uh, please pray for the children and also please uh, pray for the youth mm -hmm. the youth because mm -hmm. uh, most of the youth we, there are no schools there are no colleges uh, because of uh, uh, closing of the colleges and closing of the schools and uh, there is no work you know because the youth have to be put in the right way mm -hmm. uh, so please for the children and the youth brother mm -hmm. Okay. They are becoming cranky. Uh, they are becoming <laughs> during, during this absence of school, children are becoming very cranky, mm -hmm. and they are they are very uh, um, wanted to go into the streets and play all play. the time. So because of that, the parents are worried that they may ca they may catch any any fever or anything. Yeah. So this kind of situation uh, uh, situation is very difficult to control the children. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. but, uh, they're not listening. Yeah, they're not listening at yeah. all. <laughs> listening. Yeah. It's very difficult to control them. We yeah. are, we are, we, for that child, we are facing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And the, all the parents are coming and asking us to pray. pray. Yeah. All the time, praying for them. Their whole rhythm of life has been shut down for two years now. No school yeah. and no, no, no traveling outside the home. And so, uh, yeah, I can only imagine. Well, let's lift these burdens up to the Lord. Let me pray for you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day, and I thank you that you are an ever-present help in time of need. We have uh, heard this update uh, with lots of um, sadness and even grieving uh, over the plight of people as a result of COVID-19. But we know that you are on the throne and that this is not a surprise to you and that you are at work. And we give you praise that you are a God of compassion, a God that cares when we hurt, uh, a God that has promised to be uh, in our midst and to supply our needs. Uh, Father, we pray that you will continue to sustain Pastor Shaker and Sharon, that you will protect them. 
We pray, Father God, that you will continue to sanctify them by your word and that you would unite them with believers around the world. Uh, Father, we pray that their uh, prayer support and um, financial support will increase in the name of Jesus through Global Hope India. Uh, we thank you for every person that has contributed and is praying for them. Uh, would you bless them? Would you use them for your glory and honor? Father, would you multiply uh, this group that more people will hear of Pastor Sharon and Shaker and that they will pray and that they will give. Uh, Father, would you use Pastor Sharon and Shaker uh, to build your kingdom, to be the hands and feet of Jesus to the poor, to the widows, to the pastors, to the orphans. Uh, Father, would you meet every need that they had, uh, that they have, that their hands would lack no good gift from your hands. Father, we just uh, commit them to you. We love them. We praise you for them. And we ask, Father, that you will uh, keep them uh, under your grace, minister to them and through them for your glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. Well, brother, sister, we love you. We praise God for you. And thank you so much for the time to give us this update. And we will be in touch soon. Um, thank you. God bless you. We love you both. Thank you for listening to By Global Mission Hope Changed India with Kevin show. White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us. Or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is a copyright of Global Hope India. Each week we bring you a message of how God uses missions to bring real and lasting change through Jesus Christ. Join Global Hope India again next week for Missions Changed My Life with Kevin White. For Missions Changed My Life with Kevin White.